starting laying down on the back. And you just place your arms by your sides. The feet are hip distance apart. And we will start directly breathing and moving the pelvis. So you inhale to prepare for the nose. And as you exhale, you tilt your pelvis, so you imprint, press on the mat with your lower back, and inhale, release. Exhale, tilt, inhale, release. You can go in your own tempo, maybe a little bit slower, maybe a little bit faster, depending on your breathing right now. And you try to bring the breathing to a longer, slower state. And we start making this move a little bit bigger, so exaggerate it. When you inhale, you can really arch the back, so let your ribs go off the mat as well, so really exaggerate it. And as you exhale, lift a little bit just the pelvis and think of sending the sitting bones underneath your knees. And then release and arch the lower back and then round it and pull. So you should feel some press and pull of the lower back a little bit. So let's do four more. Relaxing the shoulders, the head is in the center, chin slightly to the chest. And next time, go into a full bridge, so tilt your pelvis and roll all the way up. And then roll all the way down and arch the lower back completely. Tilt the pelvis in the opposite direction, we go all the way up in the bridge. Yes, and all the way down over the imprint, over the neutral, into this arched position, into the lower back. Last one, we stay in the bridge. Exhale, roll all the way up into your bridge. Hold it here, and we just twist the pelvis. Only twist the pelvis over to one side. Center, and to the other side. Center, again, the other side. Center and twist. Your knees stay at the same spot and you just twist the middle of your body where your pelvis is. Shoulders are heavy, you're still looking straight up to the ceiling. Center head. One more time. And then you can keep your pelvis twisted over to one side. So right side is down, left side is up. And we roll on the right side of our spine. Go down. Keep the pelvis the same way, inhale, and then exhale and roll all the way up on that same right side of the spine. And twist over to the other side, so left side is lower, right side is higher, and we roll on the left side of the spine, all the way down. Try to keep your knees in the same position, and all the way up. And switch the sides. We do two more on each side. Now you can just go in your own tempo and concentrate that you're not shifting your whole body over to one side, but you stay in your center axis with slightly twisted spine. Going up, switching, and rolling on the other side. Very good. One more time each side. Hello Yvonne and hello Birgit. We are on the mat with no props. And last time on the other side. Hello Birgit. Hello Yvonne. No props today. You can directly join because we just finished the cycle, so you can 
Center yourself, pelvis is down, neutral spine position, ribs are heavy, you lift one leg up in the tabletop position, the other one follows. 90 degree angle, ribs heavy, so really anchor your ribs down, and from here, with bent knee, you lower one leg down, <coughs> tap the floor, and lift. Exhale the other leg and lift. If you feel that your lower back is coming too much off the ground, imprint a little bit. So tilt your pelvis slightly towards the pubic bone to the belly button and hold the lower back long. We're going to add opposite arm. When your right leg lowers, the left arm lifts and lower it down. Left leg down, right arm up, and switch. The goal is not to go as fast as you can, but to really control your center and to do isolated move out of your hip joint and relax shoulder. Check the position of your head and see that you're not bending the knee more. So the knee is in the same angle, but everybody is doing a good job from what I can see here, yes. Birgit, you can bring your knees a little bit far away from you, just slightly. Yeah. Just a little bit, not too much, not too much, yes. Okay, one more time on each side. And then keep both knees up, lift both arms up. <clears throat> we take the hands on top of each other so they touch. Inhale, as you exhale, lift head, neck and chest up. Stretch your legs and open them in the V position and reach forward. Yes. And then bend your knees into your perfect 90 degree position. We we'll stay here, squeeze your legs together, and we we'll go with both arms over to one side, so your upper body is twisting slightly, the knees are in the center. Come back with your arms into the middle, and go to the other side. Try to keep the balance. Center, and now we repeat again our chest lift and the position of the legs. Exhale, stretch the legs, Lift hand, neck and chest up and really reach forward. Push both hands together and bend the legs. Come down. Now start in the opposite position, in the opposite direction. So twist the upper body. One side, center, the other side. Center and again. Stretch the legs and reach. Exhale, deep exhalation, the belly button goes down as you go up. Really lift a little bit higher. And go down and twist. Try to not move the knees at all. Good. Squeeze the legs, it helps. The other side. Center. And one more time. Exhale, lift. And down. Last one, we go one side, center, the other side, center, our chest lift with open legs and we do small poses, we we'll try to go higher, you can flex your feet if you have the flexibility here, and we go a little bit higher, exhale, exhale, reach forward with your arms for five, Four, three, keep breathing, relax the face. Two, one, stay here, bend your knees, take your hands underneath your knees, assist the throw up. And so let's go, we roll all the way up, balance, and we roll down. Starting from the lower back, all the way down with the head, inhale, and exhale all the way up. Balance, good, inhale, balance. Exhale down. Two more. And we roll up. Try to 
to not stretch the back in the end position, but stay around. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging for the lower belly. And down. Stay down, go down, we keep the legs in the tabletop position, arms by your sides, in a T position, and we go side to side with both legs, so we twist the whole lower back and the middle of the back, center to the other side, keep your shoulders glued on the floor, and perfect 90 degree angle of the legs. Let's add the head. Legs to the left side, head to the right. Center. Legs to the right, head to the left. And center. Good. Cut your knees a little bit further away from you. Yes, there. Good. One more time each side. And again, assisted throw up, hands underneath your knees. Inhale, exhale. Push your legs into your hands. And roll all the way up, center yourself, balance, and roll down. Two more times. Inhale, and exhale. One vertebra at a time. Peeling yourself and trying to really pull the belly in. Inhale, and exhale down. Good. Next one, we stay up. Inhale. So all the way up, balance, slightly round lower back, relax shoulders, we will take the hands on top of each other, hello Francois, and we go side, center, the other side, just keeping the legs stable in one position. Francois, you can lay down on the back and warm up the spine with uh, three times uh, basic bridging. <coughs> side, center, side, center. Last one, side, center, and lower your feet down, hands on your knees, stretch your back yourself long, around the whole back here, so imagine somebody pulls your waistline back and you look towards your belly button and you stretch and pull with your hands and your knees but the ribs at the same time back and round and stretch. Exhale, 
Inhale to twist. Stretching the spine and then going down. So if you draw a line, your spine is still in the same line as the middle line of your legs. And up. So try to not. I'll show you from this angle. So we want to roll straight down. Sometimes we shift the whole weight in the opposite direction. So see that you're not doing this. You stay in the center, even though you're twisted. So this is what I'm trying to explain to you. So, for example, my arms are on the right side and the body naturally wants to go to the left side to balance it out. But you stay in the center. And always switching. Center. One side, the other side, shoulders relax. Think of your whole spine, even the neck, lying in a hammock. So you do this perfect C curve. So everybody a little bit the chin to the chest and the, the head back. Yes. Good. you are and come back and we stretch the arms up to the sky pull yourself really long and then take your hands behind you with the fingers pointing back and here we move a little bit the shoulders up and down so push yourself with your hands down to just loosen up a little bit and you can bring the shoulders forward so try to squeeze them forward and backward and forward and backward yes just holding your hands on the floor and moving the shoulders forward and backward good and then we bend slightly the elbows and start moving the lower back so you tilt the pelvis and arch and round and arch round and arch find the middle between those two so not rounding completely and not arching somewhere in between ribs in shoulders are in the middle between those two moves so not all the way up not all the way down not all the way forward not all the way back this is our perfect neutral position. We push with the feet and with the hands and we lift the pelvis and we stretch our body here, looking up. And then lower by bending the hips and try to find this perfect position of the spine. So again, not arching and not rounding. And the shoulders as well. We maintain those positions. Very nice, it should look exactly with the letter M and I see many M letters there, all of you, good job, and we lift again, try to not overstretch the arms to compensate for the shoulders, so we want to really open the shoulders here, and lower the pelvis, good, two more times, if this is too much for your wrists or hands you can turn around your hands in the other direction but we try to keep it that way or maybe to the side try and let's do two more we lift and lower good last one and lift really build one line pushing the pelvis up looking up and down, cross your legs, interlace your fingers and rotate a little bit your wrist to release any tension. We take the back of the hands together a little bit lower than the chest here and we lower the elbows down to feel the stretch on our wrists. Just a little bit still holding the hands like this 
And we have the, this line exactly in the middle of our body. Hold it and we'll twist. Center. Twist to the other side. Yes, grow tall. Everybody. Stretch the spine. Yes. And twist. Center. Twist. Center. And shake your hands. <clears throat> both feet to the right side sorry to the left side for you left side for you um yes left side for you right side for me the right hand is on the floor left arm in elongation so we will twist here a little bit our upper body to see where are we in space we want to be Looking straight forward, so both shoulders in one line, both pelvic sides. And from here we take the free arm over the head and we lift the pelvis and we build one big C curve here. Yes. And then go down with the free arm, we draw a line forward like a panorama picture and we reach in the same direction as the other hand. You should feel a stretch here across the shoulders and a little bit in the upper back and come back in the starting position. So we have two moves. We go with the first one again. Arm over the head and the pelvis up, stretching here. Reach with your fingertips away from you. And down. Pelvis is down and here we just reach with that free arm. And open and up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Here, long spine. Very good. And try to sit down with your uh, left sitting bone as much as you can. So, to make the whole spine longer. And open. Even if you're not touching the floor, still reaching in that direction. And lift. And down, and reach, and last one, we go up and overhead here, and we hold it, and we will stretch the upper leg, and lift it higher, and lower, and higher, and lower, for four, and three, keep pushing that pelvis forward, and two, and one, and now with that free leg, we tap behind us, touch the floor, and do a big half circle and in front of you. You can lift the arm up to the sky, and we go up and behind, and up and forward, yes, and up and behind, and up and forward, last one, up and behind, keep it there, and the arm goes in the opposite direction, so you pull yourself long here, and release, you can sit down, legs in the same position, the free arm overhead, and release, okay. swing your legs in the opposite direction, all good for the shoulders. Okay, we can do some release here. You can take your hands on your shoulders and just do a few circles. <clears throat> and release, and reverse the direction. Okay. Down, we lift the shoulders and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, last one, good, hand on the floor, we're in this V position, three arm to the side, first we again find our neutral position here, so we can move a little bit 
twisting in one direction, the other direction. Then find your frontal plane, both shoulders, both pelvic bones in one line. Ready? And we lift the pelvis and we find our big C curve here. Stretch lower. Try to sit down with that sitting bone. So just send your Maybe even you send your whole right knee away from you as you reach in the opposite direction with the arm. Yes. Inhale and let's go. We're flowing. Exhale. Overhead, you push your pelvis forward at the same time. Yes. And down. And reach. Open. the lower shoulder so it's important that you not hang into your shoulder so you push yourself actively right for, for me it looks correct what you're doing but I still need to tell you this so you really do it perfect yes now reach good open important so we have always exhalation when we move from the stretch when we twist inhale to lower exhale here exhale and then you feel the twist into your belly reaching squeezing the organs and last one we stay here push the pelvis forward reach with the arm shift your weight and lift the weight lift the leg or lift it higher and lower and higher and lower so try to keep this balance pushing the pelvis forward good one more ready for our half circles lift and go back touch the floor lift all the way forward and top you can lift the arm up for more balance here And try to not lift the back foot push yourself away from the floor with that hand on the floor good one more and we keep the leg behind the arm goes into the opposite direction just stretch here stretch 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 and release going down and into the opposite stretch so we go over the legs, shoulder down, yes. and yes. <coughs> turn around, arms parallel to the floor, and we go all the way down until just the tips of the shoulder blades are touching the mat so the head is lifted oh, here and we lift one knee up and roll a little bit higher lower the foot down and switch lift the knee and roll a little bit higher yes so automatically you should be breathing out as you roll up. Yes, roll as high as you can to your availability today. <clears throat> and try to always let the belly button sink down and then lift. One more. Take your hands behind the head. We're still up. Interlace your fingers. Support your head. We lift the legs in the tabletop position. 
and we go for a crisscross. One leg stretches with twist towards the bent knee. Yes, center both knees, then to the other side. Flat belly controlled move, and it's your armpit reaching to the knee and not the elbow. Breath. Good. Long flex. Yes. Nice. We try to not twist with the pelvis side to side. Don't try to twist more towards the camera now. So you twist on one side is stronger than the other. So when you twist over to the away from the camera, it's good twist on the other side for super small. So your upper body needs to twist more. Yes, that's it. And really stretch one leg. Everybody one more on each side. side to side. <clears throat> and then let's stretch the legs and the arms. Pull yourself long. And flip directly on your belly. Go on your elbows. Bring the elbows as far forward as you need to to have your ribs touching the floor. The mat. Shoulders down. Legs parallel. Lower back long. So push the pelvis into the floor. <coughs> Single leg kick. You can kick just with flex foot three times. Kick, kick, kick and stretch. Or you can do flex point, flex stretch. You can choose. So see that you're not hanging into your shoulders. Push yourself up with your elbows. Pull the belly in and push the pelvis into the floor. And breathe in for the kicks. Inhale, 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 exhale to stretch. Inhale, 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 stretch. Good. Put the head a little bit higher. Yes. And cut in a little bit more chin to the chest and lift the chest more. So push with your elbows. Yes. shape of the shoulders. Okay. One more. I think Francois you have your sound on. We just put it off. Last one. And then from here. We take the hands underneath the shoulders, lift the feet, inhale, elbows close to the body, as you exhale, push with your hands and come into a modified plank position. And we do four controlled 
Pilates push-ups with the elbows close to the body. So you see only how far you can go without losing your center. It could be super small movement, but you're moving in one piece. Now move the head up and down and put the belly a little bit more in and up. Yes, I think this is the fourth. Next one we're going all the way down. Inhale, exhale all the way down. Keep the legs there. Uh, push your heels together and open your knees. So it's like a frog position. The knees are open, heels are touching. And from here we push the pelvis into the ground and lift the neck and chest up like for the swan. And go back down. Exhale. The neck and chest up. And down. If you have the availability in your body, you can go higher. Yes. Okay. You stay down, both hands on top of each other, the forehead on your hands. You squeeze the heels together and lift up and do small poses for 10 repetitions. So you go up, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. Flip around back again and we will go overhead so watch out that you have space behind you hmm. arms on the sides you can open them slightly like in a D position for more stability but I will just keep them on the side so we want to keep the head and the shoulders and the arms on the floor. Legs in the tabletop position first. And then from here we do a small preparation. We stretch the legs three times and bend them again. So stretch and bend. Stretch and bend. Next time we keep them straight or as straight as we can. Push a little bit with your arms into the floor. Inhale as you exhale, belly button drops down, the legs start moving overhead. You go up and over with no momentum. Open the legs, flex the feet, distance apart, and roll down again, one vertebra at a time. Until you have your tailbone down, you lower the legs a little bit, holding the pelvis and the lower back stable, circle the legs together and up. Let's repeat three more times the same move. I'm going to be watching you. Exhale, you go up and over. So see that you're not hanging, so can't you think of lifting the legs more? Yes. Yes, there. Good. And then rolling slowly down. And Francois, at the end of the movement, now you lower the legs down, they are open, keep distance apart, lower them halfway down, and then just bring them together and up, that's the circle that I mean, yes, that's it. Okay, Yvonne, try to relax more your chest here in this position, relax more, more, more the chest, let go, so that your shoulders go closer to the floor, but your legs are still overhead. Yes, and then roll down. Good. And a 
after your last repetition, stay down and then just hug your knees to your chest and go side to side, massage a little bit the lower back. And do small circles with both knees in one direction around the pelvis. And in the opposite direction. Stretching both feet down, you take the left leg across the right knee or the right hip, and here you pull your right leg towards you. And you can move the left knee forward and backward a few times. So, not, not the one that you're holding, the one that is across is moving. up and pull the neck a little bit closer to you and release and switch sides the other leg on top pull the left knee towards you and move the right knee a little bit further away from you and closer a few times Head is down for the moment. And now we take a deep breath in, exhale, lift head, neck and chest up and pull the leg towards you. And relax. Feet wider, we go side to side with both knees. Exercise. So we have already prepared the spine, we have twisted and prepared the core, the legs, the hips. We have done this already, but uh, maybe watch once to remember, and then you can concentrate on your alignment and you don't have to look left and right during the exercise. So we're going to start the same way like before, with straight legs together, and we just go up and overhead here, watch for one moment. So here, you see that you're not hanging, so you are actively lifting your sitting bones up and relaxing the chest at the same time. So, so we're making space here in the thoracic spine. And we bring both knees, uh, sorry, both feet slightly over to one shoulder. I'm not going too much to the side, there's just a slight move. And then I will roll on the left side of my spine with control. When the pelvis is down, both legs circle around and I go on the right side up and over my right shoulder. And then I center the legs and I repeat in the opposite direction. The right side, rolling on the right side of my spine, circling the legs and on the opposite side and center. To go out of the exercise, you just roll in the center with control. So I did it quite slowly to show you, but you can take a little bit of momentum and just watch out that your arms and your head are down all the time. So you can go up and over, bringing the legs over to one side. Try to keep the head all the time down and the arms and then circle the legs and take the momentum to go up like use the breath and take some momentum don't try to do it super slow but control your stability yes 
If you feel you have enough, you can always go out of the exercise, but we try to do two more in each direction to really make space between the vertebras and with our own weight. So, Kati, please lift the legs a little bit more. Don't like use the core to lift the whole body. Yes, there. Mm -hmm. Good. So here with our own weight, we're making space between the vertebras and we're as well stretching on the side, not only in the center. Okay, everybody, I think that's enough. Let's roll down. Roll down in the center and hug your knees to your chest. And relax here for a moment. Stretch the legs and we'll flip one more time on the belly, going for our classical swan to, to have the opposite movement of the spine to release it, to release any tension. So push down with the back of the feet into your mat, hands underneath your shoulders, inhale, and as you exhale, start lifting both knee and chest up, pull the belly in, looking straight forward until you have your end position, and then you bend your elbows and go down. It helps to look at the imaginary line in front of you, on the floor and up on the wall in front of you. And then you have the perfect alignment of your head, of your neck and your spine. So we want to articulate the whole spine one vertebra at a time. We move it now in flexion, in flexion and rotation, now it's extension. And now we'll combine extension and rotation. So next time you stay into your end position, you turn the head over to the right shoulder. And here you will roll down looking to the right. And roll up, still looking to the right. Look forward and turn the head to the left. And do the same. So it's similar idea of what we did on the back overhead. But this here more controlled in extension. So all the time when you turn your head, the whole spine twists. Okay. Just one more time. Very nice. And then we have a well deserved small break into our child's pose. So you can sit back on your heels, stretching the arms. And you can place your forehead on the mat. And just relax there. Imagine your pelvis gets heavier. And you can really let go of any tension to relax your shoulders, your face, your eyes, your jaw, your belly. You can let go of your belly completely. And take two deep breaths. Tucking the toes under, take your arms forward and we will step with one foot forward. See that it's about 90 degrees, so the heel is underneath your knee. Yes, everybody with correction. Transforming a little bit forward with your foot. Mm -hmm. 
No, with the front foot. The front foot. Yeah, there. Yeah, okay. So our pelvis is centered. Inhale. As you exhale, we go straight up. So push with the back foot more. And we'll stretch both legs. Balance. Find your balance, don't worry. And we'll go bending both legs, bend more the back knee. And we go down until we have the knee on the ground. And we'll stay here and like transfer the weight more forward. Transfer it back. Find your perfect straight line from your back knee to the crown of the head and we're getting up one more time up both legs straight and all the way down try to not make any hole in the floor gently land both hands on the knee and we stretch forward here and last one when you get up you see that you don't shift to the side so you are really aligned forward, both legs straight, and we go all the way down, and we take both knees together, sit down on your heels. Sorry for passing people, arms to the side, and we twist. Each side, twist, center, twist, center, arms forward, we go on the knees, the other foot in front, <clears throat> 90 degree angle in both legs, strong feet, belly in, so here slight, tuck, ready, inhale, exhale, we get up. Control. So here there is no twist, both pelvic bones go straight forward. We bend more the back knee and we go straight down. Good. And then both hands on the knee. Stretch. And back. Find your line. Inhale, relax shoulders. Both feet, both knees are well aligned. And we get up. Down. Good control. Hands on the knee. Forward. Back. Up. I think we did four on the other side, so we have one more. And we go down. Good job, everybody, of trying to stay up straight, though, but send the weight more. Backward next time. Let's do the last one perfect. So we go straight up. No leaning forward. No twisting. No disalignment of the legs. So we go straight up. Yes. Good. Weight more back and we go all the way down and we stay down. Good job. And both knees together. This time the feet are flat. Feet are flat, we sit down, roll the shoulders to the back. <clears throat> we make a fist and grab the other hand on that fist for some strength. And we lift the pelvis a little bit, lean slightly forward, and we go. So I'll show you from the side. So we go over to one side, sit halfway, lift to the other side, sit and lift. So we're slightly leaning forward and going down, up, down, up. Just keep breathing. Okay, one more. And 
from here we go on to all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, as always. And we do our head stretch. So exhale to round. Inhale to stretch. If you want, you can add a leg. So you will take your right knee and bring the chin to the knee and lift the leg as you stretch the spine but you see that you're not hanging into your lower back so you really support with your core and you feel your glute working and your thoracic spine extending and watch out that you don't shift to the side you're still centered here so just a few things to think about and then again round and stretch round and stretch if you want more challenge you can tuck your back toe under it's gonna be a little bit farther you lift the knee so you're in the air and you do this in the air. Exhale, round. Inhale, stretch. So this would be the progression. And choose whichever one you want to do. We have just three more. Good job holding the shoulder stable, everybody. And not shifting to the side. And then release. Lower that knee down. We sit back just for one moment. You can stretch your arms further forward, pull yourself long, and we switch the side. So we have the other knee. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. You can do a few with the knee down on the ground. Um, Birgit and Francois, you can shift your whole weight a little bit more forward so it's more on the hands or bring the hands more back. Yes, there. That's it. Perfect. Now you have the arms straight and then it's much easier for the body. If you want the challenge, now is the time to lift the other knee be in the air. So if you have done it on the other side, do it on that side too. Okay, one last time. And we just lower the knees down. The toes are still tucked under. We inhale as we exhale, we lift the pelvis all the way up into an inverted V. And we stretch here. You can walk at one place, so bending one knee, then the other. And we're going to add the head. When you bend the right knee, you look to the right. When you bend the left knee, you look to the left. 